Ever since we came back from Sweden, life at the farmhouse has been very, very slow. And this is me actually taking a break from a break because I'm trying to wrap my brain around a big project. And it is a project that feels very overwhelming to me. And just being out here surrounded by nature, the grass, the water, the birds, made me realize that this is me. I am a part of nature, just like the grass and the water and the birds. And yes, the birds migrate to different places. And yes, the grass wants to flower and set seeds for the future. And yes, the water wants to move into all kinds of directions. But somehow I don't think that the water feels overwhelmed because it is not flowing fast enough. I also don't think that the grass feels like a failure because it grew less seeds than the grass two meters down the field. I don't think that the birds wake up thinking I need to fly at least 10 kilometers today because otherwise I'm not good enough. So why do I always feel so much pressure to perform and to perform better and faster? Who am I doing a favor with always feeling and thinking like this? And I'm going to try to let go of it. No more deadlines. It is just going to be me being here, being in movement. And I'm just going to create something. <laughs> stove before but I do now <laughs> ah, <laughs> yeah we definitely need to glue this because this is not, <laughs> not working whenever I buy things I always buy things that I also need to fix Fun fact, I am not just going to be the new proud owner of a wood stove. Oh no, I'm also going to be the new proud owner of a proper workspace. Oh, slash studio space. I actually started a project on the other side of this barn last summer. And I tried to create a workspace slash studio space over there. What it basically came down to was me doing a lot of crisis management, me moving a lot of stuff around, me drastically trying to clean all kinds of things, and me building a giant door for a giant cabinet because I was desperately looking for a way to hide all of the mess. I managed to create a very rustic open space for me to do projects in, which I did, kind of, but then everything stopped because I decided that it wasn't working for me at all and that was it until now because now everything is going to be different and what I want is a proper space I want walls I want heating I want decent light I want to have my tools here 
and all kinds of other things that are dear to me. So yes, I do think that besides creating a workspace, I also want something that looks a bit like a girl cave. <laughs> just a space for me to just spend some time alone in. And just a space for me to just do all kinds of things in, projects in, that I feel excited about. And no, I don't want to do the bare minimum. I just really want to turn this into something great. So now we finally created some space and it feels really nice. This entire side of the barn feels really nice. And it has a lot more potential than the other side of the barn. So the plan is to build a wall in the middle of the barn. And this is going to separate my workspace from the other part of the barn. There is going to be a door in this wall and a window too. Now this window is obviously going to look out on the other side of the barn which is probably always going to be a bit messy so i do think that i'm going to try to figure something out in the form of frosted glass or curtains just to make sure that you aren't going to look out on a whole bunch of mess the wall is also going to be insulated and cladded with the wood that is currently the ceiling so the ceiling is going to come down and the raised part of the floor on the right side of this space too there is a door a door that leads you straight into the farmhouse. So this means that I don't have to go outside to go into my workspace. There's also a tap with running water and a little sink underneath it. And a radiator that is actually working. Although it is a very ugly one. And this is why I've decided to replace it with something a little bit more beautiful. That I found on Marketplace. It looks vintage but it is not now the wood stove is by coincidence exactly the same as the one that we have in the kitchen. It was just the best one for a decent price that I could find. And the one in the kitchen works really well. So I'm really happy with it. Removing the raised part of the floor is something that I'm going to start working on today. Now because this farmhouse was a cow farm and the cows were kept in this barn, there are some things underneath this floor that were used for the cows. Now I've seen it before we made this floor, but I can't remember what it looked like exactly. So I'm curious to uncover it. Talking about curious, <laughs> I've had some plans to do something with curiosities for a long, long time. I tried to do something with it in my house in Amsterdam, but it never really came together like I planned to. So I'm going to try again. Because to me it feels like this is the right space for it. And I'm so excited. And I am also currently looking for, <laughs> for some odd things to add to my collection. But more on that in the next video. There's actually an opening in the door for the cats that I am going to open up again. Because I would like the cats to be able to come in here. Behind this door there's a little entryway into the farmhouse that we are going to sort out. But not today. Because it is way too much, too much, too much.
run. Hey, can I touch you? <laughs> Sweet spider. Say hi to the room. <laughs> this <laughs> little screw really screwed me over <laughs> yesterday because it took me two hours to get the first board out. So now we have one more, last one. Oh no, 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 no. Please tell me that this is not going to be another problem. Oh no, 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 no. Oh no, 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 don't do this to me. Just come out, you can do it. We can do it together. So I think the only way to get this board out is with this piece attached to it. So now this entire thing... Oh! It's still stuck to something. Oh! I think I found one. Oh! I found another one. Okay. Oh, where's the first one? Over here. Oh, please, 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 God, just help me to get this one out. Okay.
So this is my first little project in the space, even though it is far from being finished. <laughs> oh, shit. I'm tripping <laughs> over something. There is a concrete bump in the middle of the floor of my workspace. And it is very inconvenient. So I do think that this thing needs to come out. Ah, oh, it fits. Now out of all of the boxes full of art that we have, and we have at least four or five of these boxes, there was only one frame that had a passepartout in it that is going to fit around my drawing. The purple paper on the back of this drawing has the year 1911 on it. And it definitely came from France. Because there is also some text written on the back in French. So I just discovered that I am out of staples. How wide is this? Oh, it's really big. Plenty of space. <laughs> This is going to work just fine. The drawing is signed with the name Scotty. And this sounds anything but French to me. Now is this the name of the person who made this drawing? Or is it the name of this lady? And is she from France or did she move there from somewhere else? Like England or Ireland or Scotland? <laughs> Maybe this is Scotty from Scotland. <laughs> anyway, in the end, it doesn't really matter. Because I'm going to love having her around no matter what. Now if I would have to describe the vibe that I want to create in this space in actions, this would be it. And this is so much fun. I feel so artistic. <laughs> Right now. I like it. It's very difficult to show you the color in here, so I'm going to take it outside just for a moment. Schatje. <laughs> Schatje. Hi, Livy. Hi, Livy, Livy. Hi. <laughs> Saturday, which means that Walgier is going to be here and this means that we are going to start with the next very big project which is taking down the ceiling. Unfortunately, the ceiling is not just the ceiling. Oh no, 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 no. It is also a floor. <laughs> and guess what is on top of this floor? You guessed it, more stuff. So to be continued. <laughs> Bye!